how many years this residency and it is paid or unpaid you know how to get into this jss hospital provides now now currently five residency programs okay okay but when i was there uh, it was only onco and nephro so doctor adit is there any fees for this course koi fees lete hain they will charge for this it is the fees was 3 lakh rupees in which the uh, 1 lakh 80000 will be given you given back as stipend So hello everyone welcome to you all once again today we have a doctor aditya with us he completed his doctor of pharmacy from india and residency in india hai he is a renal pharmacist aapne shayad na bhi suna ho renal pharmacist bahut hi kam log karte hain right to he work in renal pharmacy and he just passed the dh exam he is going to work in dubai let's talk to him first of all talk to about you know his journey about pharm d then residency then later on about this dh exam so please watch the full video so dr adit first of all congratulations to you you pass the dh exam in your first attempt thank you sir so dr adit if you can just give us your brief introduction about your qualification and so far your work experiences so hello everyone my name is dr aditya uh, i have done my pharm d uh, in dhanan sagar college of pharmacy for a period of 6 years then during my uh, Farm D itself, I have done uh, uh, two years of uh, two months of traineeship in uh, Fortis Hospital, Bandargata Road, okay. and uh, then uh, two months of uh, internship. Uh, six year, uh, six one year of internship. But in that uh, uh, Shankara Shankara Cancer Hospital, I did two years, uh, two months of uh, onco therapeutics. Then uh, I had joined after my Farm D, I joined Apollo Hospitals. Uh, for a period of 3 months because it was during the covid time then i immediately got a seat i cleared my interview in jss hospital i got a seat for uh, the residency program in nephrology then i uh, specialized there i had a lot of learning and knowledgeable activities in jss okay then i specialized so, then i uh, guess i Let's came to talk about you know residency Uh, basically, क्या कैटरी होता है हाउ डू सिलेक्ट यू नो एंड दिस इज लाइक हाउ मेनी ईयर्स दिस एजेंसी एंड इट इज पेड और अनपेड यू नो हाउ टू गाइड इन टू दिस तो जे एस एस हॉस्पिटल प्रोवाइड्स नाउ करेंटली फाइव रेजिडेंसी प्रोग्राम्स ओके बट वन आई वॉज देयर इट वॉज ओनली ऑनको एंड नेफ्रो ओके ओके सो इट इज अ पेड इन पेड कोर्स ऑफ टू ईयर्स and the stipend is around 15000 per month okay so initially in the first year they will they'll be uh, it's all about general medicine uh, general medicine okay then uh, pharmacy all the four four major uh, you have to compulsory postings and uh, two electives in the first year second year it will be full of specialty based specialty based as in since i have taken nephro it was uh, two months of critical care two months of dialysis two months of uh, uh, I see you two months of urology, two months of transplantation. So that's how it is, and you have to work along with the doctors there as a resident. Hmm. All kinds of activities in transplant and uh, uh, in that area, all uh, farm DRP drug related problem assessment, everything so, will be taken. Yeah, Doctor uh, Adit, how this is different from yes. while you are doing your internship in farm d because everyone think that i am okay. a clinical pharmacist after when they are doing a uh, farm d right but after farm d you have to do two more years as a specialized for you know uh, residency or we can say clinical pharmacy residency we can say it is it is more of uh, you know you it is the same medications you would be seeing but the thing is A specialty, uh, specialized field. Okay. It's just like uh, when people uh, they do general general medicine, MD general medicine, they would have yeah. knowledge about all the conditions. But when they go into specialty, they will be only particular set of medications. What is their role? What is the rationality of prescriptions in that particular field? That is what you will be specializing in. So for this residency, is there any entrance exam? Is there or interview? How they selected the candidate? so it is based on an interview initially they'll, they'll, you will be asked to give a written test okay followed by that uh, if you make through the test there will be an interview through which they'll select the candidates in jss okay so currently i, I as of i didn't tell you that it was only onco and nephro when i was there but now they have opened up 
uh, infectious diseases cardiology has come okay so these are the other two residency programs which are available at my time there is no residency basically when i did my farm d in 2013 there was no residency in india yes. this is really good nowadays you know lot of residency programs coming in india and i can see now there are a specialized clinical pharmacist you know uh, uh, producing in india and we definitely uh, need this kind of pharmacist right so dr adit is there any fees for this course koi fees lete hain they will charge for this or did they, it is free of cost yeah. and they give you 15000 no, 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 no. a month yeah the thing is uh, in jss which is a private organization it is the fees was 3 lakh rupees in which the uh, 1 lakh 80000 will be given you given back as stipend <laughs> so simply 3 lakh they are charging you and you know stipend they are given you from exactly. your own fees okay your own money Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So, how our basically the course or curriculum help you to pass exam? We can say, you know, uh, because this exam is for B form or Farm D is the same exam, right? Exactly. Hmm. Exactly. My, you academically really helped me with the notes. I you did uh, practically speaking. I did not have enough time to uh, listen through the videos. Yeah. But the notes really helped a lot. Okay. Okay. And what about the mock test? It really helped a lot. Mock test. The mock test also helped. I basically took uh, academically for uh, mock tests because um, the thing is uh, especially for competitive test exams mm. mocks are really important and it will it will help you with the knowledge your current the uh, mindset of the exam what you are supposed or planning to take it will give you confidence if you have which topic you have touched which topic you have not studied it will give you that okay yeah that is what it academically really helped me regarding the Uh, notes okay thank you so much i thought okay thank you so much bye